One of the ways that I save myself a lot of time is by bringing in clip art that I've already designed. And so now that I have my canvas in place and I've titled it, I'm going to go ahead and click on the um, wrench tool up there and I'm going to make sure I'm under insert and then click on insert flat image. And here's where I'm going to go to my photos and I've saved in my photo uh, camera roll some of these um, clip art that I've already designed. So. Um, I haven't done the best job of organizing my photos. As you can see, there's a slew to choose from. Um, but what I have done when I could is extract from it um, the PNGs of my different uh, sketches. So for example, I'll go ahead and take this set of keys here. Now I drew those, um, and then when I bring them in, if you pull, you have to be careful when you're reshaping them to go slowly. Now, good thing is, is if you warp it by accident, a two-finger tap will undo what you've done. And so just be gentle when you're reshaping to make sure that you're not warping. Um, but uh, the cool thing is, is that that's how you can bring in something and then add a layer over it to then create some context. So here's where you might add something about unlocking Uh, new ideas. Um, again, making note that since these are on different um, actual layers, you could turn one on or off and not disrupt the other. Uh, and the cool thing is if I wanted to then add maybe something like some sort of shape behind the words, I can reorder the layer by, um, oops, by just pressing on it and bringing it down. And now what I can do is grab a different color and now I am actually working on a layer behind those words. And so uh, what it allows, again, just so I can show you, you can drag things, you can drag layers on top of or underneath each other um, and go from there.